Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers The Last Night Movie Hot Rod. And this is the last figure I got from the Monroeville Exchange, so it is a brand new action figure. I took it out of the packaging because I couldn't wait to review this. It was so cool. But before we get on to the review itself, the new month just came so quickly. The next four days we'll be going to the toy show. Cannot wait to show you what I find at my first ever toy show and I got 75 bucks for this toy show spending so we are gonna look for some vintage action figures and a whole lot of other stuff but now on to the review let's look at the packaging for last night movie hot rod I might have to turn the flashlight off last night movie hot rod in legends form but now we're going to get on to transforming it. Oh, wait. We got some comparisons before we can transform this figure. Here is the Last Night Movie Hot Rod next to Transformers The Last Night Movie Optimus Prime. The Night Armor version. And, of course, my favorite boy from The Last Night. Grimlock, if I can get him to stand. Come on, Grimlock. Stand, baby, stand. And there we got Grimlock. But now we can transform it. I don't got Bumblebee or Hound from this line, but I do got Hot Rod and Optimus Prime because you know I'm a big Prime fan. I like the Michael Bay movie designs. Come on, I just popped his arm out of the socket, so... Trick is trying to get his arm back in the socket. Huh. Now we rotate his feet down. Flip out his heels. And then flip down, fold this down to form his backpack. And there we got little Hot Rod in his robot mode. This is pretty cool. The arms don't have elbow bends, but they are on a ball joint shoulders. Get some knee bend out of that knee. That's pretty cool. Same with this knee. Pretty cool. Articulation options. Head does not move, which is a shame, really. But now we're going to get down to comparisons with this Legends Hot Rod. The Night Armor Optimus Prime. We got Night Armor Optimus Prime, which he is much bigger than Legends Hot Rod. Can we have Hot Rod ride Grimlock? If I can get him to stand, we'll see if he can stay mounted to Grimlock. Come on, Grimlock. And you can have Hot Rod riding Grimlock like, Go, most of me, Grimlock. Crush the Decepticon, mon ami. Hot Rod says attack. But yeah, a fun little play feature that you can do with Legends if you want to do it. And now we're going to transform Grimlock for the comparison, which is very easy. Mon ami. And Grimlock had a, I mean, Hot Rod had a French accent. You think that was crazy? I remember the last night he had a French accent, but he just hates the accent. Grimlock's a very straightforward transformation because I'm so used to him. After having him for a little while now, definitely glad I finally got a hold of this legendary figure. Love this figure. He's one of my favorite Dinobots from the Michael Bay movies. I would have picked up the Studio Series version, but that one would have costed me like, you know, 60, maybe 70 bucks. And I wasn't willing to pay that when I get this guy loose without his weapon for 15 bucks. But here we got Grimlock next to Hot Rod and 
Hot Rod is smaller than Grimlock and, and smaller than Optimus Prime. Are these figures worth the money? Yes, if you can find them, they're worth the money. Please make sure to like and comment on this video. I thank you for all your support. And don't forget to comment, because you helped me out quite a bit. But before we move on and rock on and rock out, we're going to say thank you to all my subscribers and viewers. You guys are awesome. And now, moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.